Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. So XRP still shows signs of weakness that is not without surprise. You know that I'm still waiting for another low of XRP either in the region around 27 cents or 18 cents. These are two targets that we calculated in previous videos. We need to see how the price reacts to each of them. But um, I'm still looking for another low for XRP in this bear market. Um, we have now pulled back to this ascending trend line here. So we've got a trend line that we've touched various times. We touched it here, 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 and now here again. And that is quite a strong support level. On the other hand, the more often such a trend line is touched, it actually gets quite brittle after a while because it just gets too obvious. Yeah. So what happens after a while, too many people are gonna um, add long positions here and it gets too obvious and then eventually they will be taken out and these trend lines tend to break then. We also have on the chart quite a strong sign of weakness which is here this lower high. So we had a high here and the next one is a lower high and eventually it creates a head and shoulders pattern, a large head and shoulders pattern which if broken could really take us down to that 18 cent level, maybe even lower. I think we measured it in the last video just purely to take that head and shoulders target would I think actually take us down to 12 cents. But these are not necessarily so reliable, 11 to 12 cents, yeah. Um, now this is one head and shoulders, this is one bearish pattern on this chart. We've got another one, which is this head and shoulders. So we've got a small one and a large one actually. Um, now this looks very similar to this one, which however never followed to break to the downside. But it's certainly interesting, you know, we've pulled back to support. Now, of course, there is a chance to, to go up from here again. Um, actually, I'm still looking at that possibility, but if it breaks, it can send us down quite quickly to the um, 27 cent level that I talked about. But probably we will retest first the June low, which took place here on the 19th of June, I believe. So let's just zoom in quickly take those white lines out. Um, and yeah, it would be around the 28 and a half cent level that retest of the June low. Below that level, actually, my primary expectation is fulfilled because we will then make another low for XRP in this bear market. But yeah, certainly nothing bullish, nothing remotely bullish here. The only possibility we have currently for more upside is short term upside because we haven't invalidated the um, pattern yet. So I'm exploring, as you know, from the last video, I'm exploring the possibility that we are still at the moment in a in a B wave here, that this is a B wave. So um, and that this B wave consists of an Elliott wave triangle, A, B, C, D, and possibly one more leg to the upside. We do not need that. Well, actually, that that means, you know, if we break down, it would not invalidate the pattern. Um, because it could very well be that with this move up here, the E wave was already finished and that we are breaking down. We never reached that ideal target of around 39 cents for this wave E. But as I said before, triangles are difficult to forecast and triangles, you, you don't always need to reach these targets. They are more like guidelines and ideal targets. What was important is that we have seen a corrective wave structure to the upside. That could already be the completion of the E wave. However, as long as we're holding above the D wave low at 33.2 cents, my view is we have still a chance to move up in a larger Y wave and could still get to that 39 cent level. Um, the reason is that the wave E just never reached that ideal target. And um, yeah, you know, if we look at this in terms of targets, the Y wave target, the 1.618 extension would take us sort of in that 40 cent region. So it's quite close actually. Um, so that's absolutely realistic and the triangle could still be ongoing. So, uh, you know, without breaking this support level and going below the D wave low, there is still a chance to move up in a Y wave. Then the E wave would finish here because the E wave of the triangle, which is always the last wave of the triangle, in this case would be made up of a WXY structure. And the E wave itself is the last wave of the triangle, which completes the B wave which would then result in an impulse to the downside in a C wave. And then we need to see if we react to the 27 cent level or the 18 cent level, both very relevant levels. Um, I'm rather, you know, if I had to make a, make a call here, I'd rather say we're looking at the lower level.
Yeah, I mean, I'm still looking for Bitcoin to reach the 14K level. So that's quite a bit of a drop. I think many altcoins still haven't finished off the bear market. So yeah, I think we have a few more months of um, bear market ahead of us and that would give XRP plenty of opportunity to drop down a little bit lower. Um, this is certainly not a structure where I could make a call that the low is already in. Now, this was one one wave pattern that I've just showed you with this uh, Elliott wave triangle. The other possibility, also as explained in the previous video, is that the B wave doesn't finish here where this Elliott wave triangle finishes. The other possibility is that it finished up here at the top already at around 56 cents um, and that we don't have a triangle happening here at the moment, but indeed it is an, um, it is a diagonal pattern to the downside in five waves. And that could certainly finish at 27 cents if that pattern plays out. So-called diagonal pattern and in the diagonal, um, yeah, we could already be on the way down. Okay, so then um, within this wave five, then as well, we are now um, on the way down. One, two, three, four, five. And that would then finish off the bear market. We, we have no way of saying at the moment which of these patterns is the more likely one. Eventually, both of them would lead to another low. I would only get more bullish on XRP short term if we, well, we would really have to, first of all, and as the minimum expectation, break above that 41.8 cent level, the wave four high, but that's really only the minimum. And then we would need to move impulsively above 56 cents. So quite a lot would need to happen for that. Until then, I will treat every upside that we see as corrective. And um, the move down is still the favored scenario into the 27 or 18 cent region whereas I would rather focus on the lower side here. Yeah, and that's my update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.